Hi guys, this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make this cute man in the moon bunting. In the description below the video, we will have links to the stencil and some of the supplies I use. But let's get started. So I am using this stencil. This is the man in the moon face that I have. And he gets a five inch circle. So I need six of him for the bunting. And I know six will fit on this 11 by 17 sheet of paper. And I'm just using some black paint. And I do a dry brush technique where I get the paint on my brush and then I tap it off. And then I do an up and down motion on this paper. Now I'm just going to do this five more times. Now right here, since the stencil is small, you could actually just put some masking tape or packing tape around the edges. What I'm gonna do on this is just line my paper up here so I don't get to that edge. So when you've got all six of these Stenciled. I'm just going to make sure they're completely dry and then we're just going to cut each circle out. So I am just going to cut all of these guys out. So after I've cut my six circles out, I'm going to start on my bunting piece. What I used is I'm using this, this 11 by 17 paper I have, but you could cut your paper out of any type of paper you would like for your background. And I found I could get two out of each sheet. So I cut my paper in half and I cut the little white edges off. So they're just a little smaller than eight and a half by 11. And these are going to go on here. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut a little notch out of the bottom of each one. So it looks like it's a bunting. So I'm just gonna use this for a guide and you can decide how big or small you want your notch. Okay, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So I cut out my six uh, pennants, and you wouldn't even have to put a saying, but if you wanted to, you probably need to line this up before you put him on. And I'm just going to do and I, and on the next one, I'll do think, and then the next one to myself. Next one, what a wonderful, and then world. I just thought that would be kind of fun, but I needed to make sure this could fit, so I know I can put him there, tape off, part of the stencil here so I don't get paint where I don't want it. So depending on the color paper you use for your bunting, depending if you're gonna want words or not, you can use different colors to stencil with. It's, there are so many options here. And what I'm gonna do next is I know he's gonna go about right here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a glue stick and tack him in place. I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. So, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine around the faces. You actually could just glue them down, mod podge them down, or tape them down. But that's just what I wanted to do. So I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch around each head to hold it on the paper. I'm gonna do this on all six of the buntings. After I've sewn, sewn these all, I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, texture paste with this stencil. And this is another thing you could do or you don't need to do. Just one more added fun little concept we're adding to our bunting. We'll move him over to dry. Okay, so let, let's let the chalk paste dry on there and we are going to finish him up. So after your chalk paste is dried, I am using my Distress Oxide. It's vintage photo. And then I'm just gonna do a light spray. I'm gonna age it up a little bit. And I love that this is water activated. Okay, let them dry and we're gonna seal them up. So I'm gonna use a sealer and you can use any clear sealer you would like. When you've used distressing ink, when you get it wet again, it may even 
want to spread more. It just reactivates it. These little guys dry and we'll sew our trim on. So I'm gonna use some sari silk to do my tie for my bunting. Um, when you get sari silk, usually it's very like primitive looking and I found that if I take it and I just iron it straight, it becomes much thicker. The easiest way I found to do this is just very lightly, lightly tack this and just set this on here. One thing when you're lining these up, make sure your words are going where you want them. Okay, so now we're gonna do a zigzag stitch across the top. Okay guys, I hope you give this a try. Can you see the difference? This one I used um, a white sari silk. The one down here is more gray. And the one on the table is a little more antique. And of course, I blushed his cheeks. So I hope you guys give this a shot, but have fun.